Hey, Pool Players. Hey, Ron here. Welcome once again to the Pool Student Channel. Hey, I want to talk about something today. I want to show you a video, and, and I think I picked up on something. Yesterday, I, I had a league play. It was a makeup uh, session, and I won my eight ball but lost my nine ball. And I look back on it, and I, think, I was thinking, why is that? Now, I played two different opponents, and the second one was uh, in the upper 400s, 470-ish, I think he was. And I'm now, uh, I just had an update as of today, probably as a result of losing the match to him. I was a 520, now I'm down to a 516. And, um, and I look back at that match and I had lots of opportunity, but I made some uh, bad choices, misses, a lot of the thing, a lot of things happened there that cost me that match. But in thinking about one of the key things was that my, my transition was not correct on my forward stroke. So today I was playing around with it on a nine ball pattern and I learned something. I said, okay, I wiped the balls off the table and I parked the ball in the center and I just started shooting some shots and I'm gonna show you that video and explain to you what I've discovered. So let's check it out right now. Guys, I'm working on this pause stroke and, and I'm having some difficulty with it. Um, yesterday when I played my lead play, I, I totally abandoned it. I just, I, I just have a hesitation stroke now. It's not quite as bad as it used to be, but I'm not trusting the pause stroke because I'll miss just like that. It's, it's maybe 50, 50, 50, or you know, maybe 60, 40 that I will make it. So because of that, in my mind, it's like I don't want to miss because, you know, if you give the other guy a chance, another inning, probably going to lose. And I lost my nine ball match because of, I, I feel, because of this. I mean, I, made, I missed too many shots. I did also play kind of dumb in, in a couple of, uh, of occasions. I only won a few games. I needed to win six. And, and I look back on it, and I know what it was. I need to get this shot down. If I don't, I'm probably not going to get to that level I want to make, and that's 600. So, try it again here. Still, I cut that ball. You see how the cue ball moved, and it ball went in this side of the pocket. I'm trying to put that in the center of the pocket. What, what is happening, I'm finding out, is that the pause is all about the timing. And that, hold that shot back here, and then going through, I think I'm going through too fast. I'm starting too quick. I need to come in slow and then accelerate. And maybe that's the key here. So I'm going to try to work at that today. Do it right now and see. That was way better. I did have rotation on a cue ball, but and that means I didn't quite hit it. More hit it more to the left, which spun it clockwise. So I'll pay attention to that. But that was better. I, I think what's happening here and why I'm not making the shot 100% of the time is that I'm, I'm still, even though I might pause, then I go quickly through. That's my old jab, that's my old jab. So I have still part of that jab in my forward motion. Even though I'm pausing, which is all good, then I jab forward. I've got to somehow, it's like the golf, or golf swing. When you come back, you don't jerk down you come back and you come down controlled and then you accelerate through the shot. And that may be what is lacking here and what I'm trying to do. Because that shot right there felt like it was perfect. It felt like I didn't jab forward. I didn't, you know, I didn't have a herky jerky motion going forward. Let's try this again. And the other thing is too, you guys, you can't be thinking about this stuff. This shot has to be second nature. That has to be your motion without thinking about it. Let's 
That felt really good. That one was really good. So I think I might be onto something here. One of my subscribers about a month ago said this. They asked me the question, I want to pause, but I don't trust it. What do you do? What do you think about when you're, when you're pausing? Back then, I didn't know really how to answer that, but now I do know how to answer it. Since I've been working on this pause for a while, I now think I know that there's more to it than just holding the stick in the, in the um, reverse position before shooting. It's also the movement going forward has to be slow to begin with and then accelerate through properly. If you jerk forward, it's going to throw your alignment off and you'll probably miss. Still got to do all the fundamentals too because I'll miss this shot. If I get down on it, I feel like I'm leaning funny and still shoot it, I'll miss it. It's so important to be in, in your stance and on the shot line with your body. I feel good right there. Okay, I did not go through, did not go through slow and then accelerate. I went through too quick, too quick. I felt it. And as a result, I didn't pocket the ball cleanly. So tough, you guys. Get all these balls out of here. It's so tough, you know, you, you have to, I think, I, you know, it's such a cerebral game. It's so much that goes on in our heads. And it's not just about confidence, it's also about making sure that we control all of our movements with our brain. We have to make sure, like in this case, my main movement that I know affects this shot is, the, is from reverse to forward. If I go too quick like that, I'm gonna miss. If I go through slow and then accelerate, get it started, get a forward motion started, then accelerate, that's my best bet to making this shot with control. Oh, it was terrible. It was terrible. I knew when I... I and here, and this is it. Because I'm thinking about all of this, this, this pause, slow start and then go through. If you have to think about these things, they're going to affect your shot. But sticking with it is the hard part because you know you're, you're in the right direction. You know you have to do these things, but to create that muscle memory so you don't have to think about it takes so long that we just abandon this thing. That's what I've been doing. I've been trying and working at this since John Disk on his channel talked about the poke stroke. And it is incredible to me that I cannot stick with it to try to, to try to ingrain that muscle memory. And it's just, it's phenomenal that I'm not able to have the mind over matter, you know, basically mind over your, your physical action because I'm aware of it. But why, why is it that I miss like that once in a while? Even though it's a very straight in shot that I make the majority of the time, I still will miss it on occasion. And it's all to do with the timing of how I get from reverse to forward. I'm positive of it. Pretty good. I hit a little bit to the left side. Just saw the cue ball spin a little. I'm going to try to hit the cue ball in the middle, that's for sure. I actually look at the arc of the ball and make sure I'm directly above it. pretty good in fact it ended right on my spot so my stick didn't even want to veer a little bit sometimes I'll see that happen 
crazy what we go through, you guys, trying to make sure we we fix something that we know is not correct in our in our mechanics. That was perfect right there. Okay, so what I'm doing and I'm learning, I'm, I'm getting feedback, I'm understanding, even today, I, I picked up on this, I kept beating myself up, it was like, why am I missing, even though I'm pausing? Well, the pause wasn't the issue, the timing of the pause, it was the transition moving forward, getting the, the, the cue started, I was abruptly starting the cue, I needed to come in slowly for the first maybe inch to two inches, and then accelerate smoothly through the ball. I think I'm gonna, this video is gonna be good for us because if you, if you are struggling with this, understand that the pause is not the only issue. You have to get the cue started towards the cue ball in a controlled manner, not a jerk or not a, a jab forward. It's gotta be smooth to begin with and then accelerate through the cue ball. I'm finding it's working for me and I know it'll work for you. If you have any comments, leave them here, please. Let me know if it's helped you. Let me know what you're finding with this. Another thing too that I've, I've done there, and I don't know if you caught it or not, but I'm really trying to hold my bridge. It's an open bridge and I'm trying to hold my hand really firm to the table with my thumb really flared up, creating a very nice V in a solid, stable bridge. So that's, that's critical as well. So once again, leave some comments. Let me know what you think. And uh, till next time, keep on practicing.